Okay, my name is Roy and we're coming to you from Amarillo, Texas. Yeah, heart of the Panhandle. Yeah, we're about 3,800 feet here. They call it the high desert, high plains. There ain't no trees around here. I mean, if you get out of the city, you know. I'm fixing to give you a piano lesson here and it's for people that, I guess, you know, you, you should know at least the notes on the piano or something. I don't know if I should start that basal thing. You know, like, you know, where middle C is and the names of the different notes. If not, I can just start from right there if you want. But I'm going to teach you how to play by ear. I, I play by ear. I play church, but I played in bars for about 25 years. That was a different type of life. I'm kind of glad that's over. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to play by ear. All right. Okay, so I have to assume that you know the names of the notes on the piano. If you don't, this is happens to be middle C right here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Those are names, and these are just C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. But don't worry about those right now because we're record, we're going to be learning about the key of C and how, how to play by ear. That's how I play. I play by ear, and I've played for a long time. So here's, here's C, C scale. The way you play by ears, you understand what chords go in a song, or what's the general chord. You've heard the like three chord country song, and what they are is the first chord. One, two, three. The fourth chord, and the fifth chord. That's a G. That's a F, and that's a C. These are all major chords. So those three chords are in 90% of all music, especially popular music. 
Hello again. Um, this is Roy here. And um, I'm going to start off like you don't know anything about the piano, you know, at all. So, like, maybe you were, like, in a cabin in Alaska and you wanted to play music for a church there or something. And, you, and so I'm going to teach you how from the very beginning. Okay, but so the first thing you need to do, you can see this little chart that I drew here. And you can draw yourself one if you want to. Look at, there's two black keys. Then there's a set of three black keys. Then two black keys. And it goes that way all the way down the key. Really, it's just a set of, uh, from this C to this C, it, it's all these notes just repeated. All there is is eight notes. A, C, C, G, E, F, G, A. Starts again and goes all the way down the keyboard. A, B, C. So there's only, all you have to memorize is from A up to G where it starts over again. But you need to know, see these two black ones, here's a C, here's a C, and there's a C all the way up the keyboard like that. Here's the three black ones, look at right here, it's an A. You have to get into your head where these notes are on the keyboard. All right, you could draw yourself something like this and cover it up and practice or have someone practice for you, but you need to know that if I say a F, you, have, you need to know right away that's a F. Or if I say a D, you have to know right away that's a D. See, so do that however you, that's your assignment. Okay. So now I'll stop. Okay. So now I assume that you had, uh, had that other lesson and you know the names of these keys. Just the white ones, that's all we're taking care about right now. You know the name, you know that this is C. Any keys in the, around the middle of the piano, they call that middle C. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to make a chord. They call it a major chord. So that you can make the, a major chord from any note on the piano. Right now, we're going to make a major chord of C. So we're going to count one two, three, four notes. And that's called a major third. But you know, I don't know why exactly. Okay, but that's called a major third. One, two, three, four. All right. Now we need the next uh, note of the chord. A chord is a triad. That means it has three notes. Okay. It doesn't have to, but okay, next time we're going to count one, two, three. That's called a minor third. There we go. Now there's C chord. And, the and when you play that chord, you use your little finger to your thumb and your middle finger in, in the middle. That's the correct way to play that chord. See, like, don't go like this. Go like this. All right. Now, our next chord that's re related to C here is a F. And you know this is a F, so let's count it out and see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. There's the notes for F, F, A, and C, and that F goes with the C. Next chord we're going to figure out, this is the correct way to do it, is a G. You're just going to have to do that. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. A major third and a minor third. Here we go, G. G, G, and a D. And now, these chords all go together. So what I want you to do is just practice this. C, F, G, F. There are lots and lots of songs that just use that simple progression right there. I want you to practice that and say it. C, F, G, F. assignment. Practice that. 